Now right, here's our next problem. Um, an object is found in, in our solar system. Um, so that, that's really important to observe that, um, to be orbiting the sun. All right, so that's the other important part. It's in our solar system, it's orbiting the sun. We, and then they give us the period. All right, so the period is 752.6 days. How far is this object from the sun? Part A in AU, part B, we want to know um, how far it is from the sun in kilometers. And it says round to two places past the decimal. All right. Um, oh, we just repeated it. Sorry. I don't know why it keeps doing that. Um, all right. Anyhow, uh, so, so, so let's go ahead and, and work, work this problem out. All right. So um, the first part, uh, here, let me get my pen here. Um, all right, so the first part is to convert the, the number of days, right? So, so we, we know that what the period, the period, so they give us that the period is um, 752.6 days, all right? And so, so if we're going to use, and, and uh, you know, we're going to do this, uh, we're going to use Kepler's, uh, Kepler's third law, right, the original version of Kepler's third law, which says a cubed is equal to p squared, All right? Where uh, a has to be in au, and then p will be in, must be in years. So all I have to do here is convert, uh, you know, you know how, how many days are there in a year? So in one year, the, and, and it, you know, you can look on the equation sheet, there are uh, 365.24 days, all right? So that's the uh, days, the D. So the days cancel, and, and so you just take this number. Um, here, let's do this in our calculator here. Um, clear this. All right, so, so uh, you take uh, 752.6, divided by 365.24, all right, don't forget that um, that's the, the approximately the number. It's, it's actually more precise than that, that we know it, but this is this is perfectly fine. Um, so we divide by, by 365.24, and so that is, um, th that is the, the, the amount of time it takes this object to go all the way around the sun. So it's gonna be, so, so you know, um, if we round, it says to round it to, uh, well, we're, that's not really the answer yet. All right, so we're, we're just going to keep this unrounded until we do the calculation. All right, so I'm going to keep that in my calculator. Um, notice I'm going to have to square it, right? And so, so uh, I'm going to raise that to the second power. All right, so there it is, squared. And then I have to raise it to the one-third power, okay? So, so um, you know, it's... You know, a, you know, let, let me just rewrite it. Um, so A is equal to the cube root of P squared. All right, so that's, that's Kepler's, uh, Kepler's, um, <clears throat> excuse me, Kepler's uh, third law. All right, so let's see, let's get this calculator to take the cube root. All right, so um, uh, let's see. Um, so, so just as a reminder, the keys, this is a little bit more complicated than I thought it was going to be. Um, you know, a lot of calculators already have a cube root, uh, if you have a scientific calculator. But you, you have to remember that that's also saying, uh, let me just write this right, just to make sure that it's clear. Um, this is taking P squared instead of, I mean, th th not instead of, but it's the same thing, raising it to the one third power. All right. Now, um, when you raise something to the one third in a calculator, of course, one third is a repeating decimal. So um, if you, you know, if you just said raise to the, you know, 0.3, you're not going to get the proper answer. All right. So here, here we go. So see, see this y to the x. So I'm going to raise it to the power of, so, so to, to get exactly one third, I'm going to use parentheses, one divided by three. Right, and so the close parentheses. See, so it's it's raising it. It's, it this this number, um, you know, that we had uh, to the to the one third power. All right, so here, let's see. 
Um, and so that's the distance, all right? So and it says to to round it to to, uh, to basically to the hundredth place. So so uh, two places past the decimal. So it says the, the calculation is one point six one nine, right? So so you know now that means it, the answer is one point six two. All right. So I'm going to write that one point six two AU, and I'm almost done with this problem. So one. 0.62 AU. All right, and then you say, all right, well, how many astronomical units are in, uh, how, sorry, the other way, uh, how many kilometers are in an astronomical unit? All right, so, oh, this is a two. This doesn't really look like a two, does it? Sorry. Um, all right, so so what, what you do is you say, all right, well, it turns out that um, in one astronomical unit, Again, you can look this up uh, on the uh, on the equation sheet. Um, one astronomical unit is 150 million kilometers. All right, so 150 million, and I'm I'm going to write it slightly differently just to remind everybody. The times 10 to the sixth, of course, is million, um, but you can also write this, and and this is a good way to to learn this for Blackboard. Um, you use e six, right? So that's that's a perfectly good way of writing this, right? Instead instead of saying times 10 to the six, it means the exact same thing, right? Notice the AUs cancel. So what, what I'm saying is 150 times 10 to the sixth kilometers can be written as 150 E six kilometers. All right, so that's just a little bit aside. Um, um, and so we just multiply this number, which is already in our calculator. Let's see, let me get my calculator back. All right, so here's my calculator. Um, so I'm, I'm gonna actually multiply by the, by the unrounded version and then round it at the end. All right, so at, I'm gonna say times um, 150 times 10 to the sixth. See, see it, it, even this calculator, it, it puts the E instead of the times tens. Some, some, most calculators do that these days. Um, some, some will actually do a little times ten thing. And anyhow, um, this is going to be the answer to part B, the number of kilometers. And now we're gonna, and we're gonna round it to two places past the decimal. All right. So, so, uh, well, it, yeah. <laughs> All right, so I'm, I'm going to write it in scientific notation. That, that's what I mean by when I say two places past the double. So it's going to be um, 2.4, and see, it's, it's going to be 2.42, I'm sorry, 2.43, um, and then see the decimal is right here. Um, I see, that there it is. Um, and so, I, I, you know, to get it in scientific notation, I got to move it um, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, um, it's, I got to move it eight places to the to the left. All right, so it would be two point four. The you know it's two point four two, but the the next digit would be in is an eight, and so I round it up two point four three. Right, let's write that. Let's write this out. Um, let's, so I got it over here. Okay, so two. The answer is two point four three. Um, times 10 to the eighth, right? And ki kilometers, right? Kilometers, right? And so, so, you know, of course, we can rewrite that as 2.43. It means the exact same thing times 10 to the eighth kilometers, right? So this, this is the answer to part B. And uh, this right here is the answer to part A. All right, very nice. So that's, um, there's a little Kepler's third law problem. Um, all right, we'll, we'll do another one here in just a moment. All right, here's another problem. Um, an object is found in our solar system to be orbiting our sun. All right, that's, of course, very important. Um, its average distance is 8.94 times 10 to the ninth uh, kilometers. All right, so uh, this is just another way of writing that, 8.94 E9 kilometers. Uh, what's the period of this object around the sun? Uh, a in years and B in days. All right. So um, this is going to, of course, 
Uh, since it's orbiting our sun, we're going to use the we're going to use Kepler's third law to do this. Um, all we have to really do here is convert uh, this distance um, from from kilometers to AU. All right, so we're going to do that now. All right, so so as I said, we're going to use Kepler's third law. Um, so we which I did not write yet. Um, so you know, uh, we, we know that uh, a cubed is equal to p squared, where p is the period in years and a is the um, the, the the average distance, also known as the semi-major axis, in units called AUs. So what we're doing is we're converting this distance to um, to from kilometers to AUs because we know that we know that in one astronomical unit there is 150 million kilometers, so the kilometers cancel. Right? Remember the units always have to cancel, and so um, here let's do this. In, excuse me, in our calculator. All right, so uh, let's see. So this is uh, eight point nine four times ten to the ninth. Eight point nine four billion is another way uh, divided by one hundred and fifty million. Just times ten to the sixth. All right, so so there, so so this is this is the distance. So it's fifty nine. Um, it's, it's so fifty nine point six astronomical units. All right, so that's um, and we're going to round it to one. I didn't put the I didn't copy that part, but you're just rounding it to one place past the decimal. Well, um, anyhow, we're, we're not we're not done anyway. Um, so, so that it's fifty nine point six is the that that that's the that's the uh, AU fifty that's the uh, average distance fifty nine point six. Let me write that fifty nine point six AU. All right, so once you have that, we're going to plug that in right here for A, right? And so we got P squared is equal to fifty nine point six, um, and it's AU, but I've got to cube that. Right, so raise that to the third power. All right, so I'm going to raise that to the third power. And then, of course, to solve for P, I just take the square root. And that'll be the answer in years. All right, so, um, so raise this to the third. Let's see, it's a little tricky in this calculator. It's the X to the Y button. So raise to the third equals, and then take the square root of that answer. And that's going to give us the, the number of years. So rounding it to one place past the decimal, it would be 460 years, All right? So the period, well, I'm sorry, 0 0.1. The period would be 460.1, rounding to one place past the decimal, years, all right? And then the, then the rest of it's really easy, um, part, part B, which says, you know, what is it in days? So you just have to say, okay, well, in one, in one year, there are 365.24, um, all right, for astronomy purpose, oops, 0.24 um, days. Don't, don't, don't forget that, that, you know, that, you know, that's, that's why there's a leap year, right, you know, every four years. Anyhow, um, so th this cancels, all right, the, the years cancel, and so we just have to multiply what's in our calculator by 365.24, all right, so here we go. This will end this problem. Uh, all right, so time, it's, it's going to be a lot of days times um, 365.24. All right, so, so this is going to be many, many days. All right, so we're going to round it to one. So it's, it's you know, 100 uh, 168,053.6 days. So 100, what did I say? 160, so one. 168, 168, 053 points, I forgot what that was already, point, uh, point 0.6, right, because it's point 0.56, I rounded up, so point 0.6 days. All right, so that's the answer to part B. Um, this, this is the answer to part A. Part A is how many how many years it is. All right, very nice. So there's another Kepler's third law problem.